Uh, here we go, guys. Doing it mostly. <laughs> Come on, you missed the shot. What are you doing? There you go, you got the shot. It's nothing if it's happy with any of the standard modes, you can make your own, there's a custom mode. Yeah, so you can go into the, the app, decide the, the power, the regen, the ABS settings, and how aggressive you want to be, you want those settings to be, and then map it in, call it after your own name, and as you go through the system, it'll come up with your name, there's your, there's your map. Tom, just for, for the, the sake of the exercise, let's go back and turn off the traction control again, and um, do just one run and you'll get a sense of uh, the difference between, you know, although it's fun to see the bike spinning a tyre, it literally can't accelerate fast enough compared to what you normally can manage with yeah, the traction on. For sure, so... Smoking and getting... I've got to manage that. Yeah. So, the, the experts in Bosch who build the ABS were saying that when it comes to the reaction of a bike it, with uh, traction control modes on, nothing like electric. You know, in a petrol bike, you've got to drop spark, you've got to alter the fuel injection. There's a delay. With the electric bike, it's able to, to check it a couple hundred times a second and bring it to the limit of adhesion. All right, speaking of the limit of adhesion. Hi, Luke. Hi, guys. <laughs> so Luke's going to show us some things about the, um, the ABS and the difference that that makes and how important it is, not just for, for your zero, but for any bike and how good ABS really is. But on the FXC, it's really pronounced how well it works. Take us through it. Absolutely. So guys, you would have seen that uh, Tom Tom's limit of traction here, so the surface is quite slippery. I just lost my horn. Um, so the surface is quite slippery. Now that goes to front and rear wheels. Obviously, if you want to use your, if you want to brake hard, you want to load up the front end on a, slip, on a slippery surface like this, it's not going to be a good day for you. You can end up on the floor. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate quickly how well I can brake with ABS off on a surface like this. I'm going to be limited with what I can do, and you'll see that the bike will be limit traction. Um, and then we're going to turn ABS on and do the same thing. And you'll see a clear difference in how quickly I stop and how stable the motorcycle stays while I'm doing that. This with ABS off. Well, not bad, but not quite, not, but not great. Now, what's with the foot down? So, if I don't put my foot down, every time that front end locks just that little bit, I, I lose stability. Yeah. So that's a bit of a safety, safety mechanism for me. I'll do one more time without ABS. You can see how long it takes me to actually play. And with the rear wheel locked up, it's hard to modulate the brake on a surface That's like right, this. you're constantly adjusting this. The rear's pretty much locked on. That's what you would do in an emergency. You just sort of freak out, you panic, you just grab a handful of everything. So now I'm going to turn ABS on and treat it the same way. Good to go. All right, cheers. All right, the bike stays in a straight line. There's your first point. So the bike stays upright. I don't have to put my foot down for stability. The bike's really stable. I feel confident. I can even turn the front end. If you motorcyclists out there, you don't turn and brake. No, I feel very, very good on the brakes. Are you very good on the brakes, Luke? I've been known to be good on the brakes. Not yesterday. There you go, look at that. Actually, we wiggling the front end. So you're doing very unnatural movements on the front end. And the bike stays the bottom stage. And you stop over there. Instead of up there. Exactly. And then you can fall down like they did the other day. I wasn't going to mention it, but thank you. <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> He's done you he's done you again, he's done you dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is stand down? Just, <laughs> just to be fair, if you have the stand down, bike cuts out. We'll go again. Are we ready this time? Ready. Okay, Tom, you set? Set. Luke, don't touch the other bike. I can't tell you this enough. I'm good. Alright. <laughs> ready. Set. Go. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Tom's found reverse. I mean, I'm not asking you guys to take it seriously, but it would be really good if you could. Oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't, I'm Sorry. For those of you who missed the uh, session earlier, good. all of the zeros in the bigger bikes all have reverse. And you don't know you need reverse till you find yourself nosed into a car park or in a similar situation. You don't need to warm up your tyre for a slow speed race, gentlemen. Let's be really clear. You must warm right. up the tyre for all races. Ready, set, go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here Jack Bear, he's nearly ready. You ready to go, Bear? Let me know. Alright, here we go, guys. Alright, I got you. We are insured, ladies and gentlemen, mostly. <laughs> no, come on, you missed the shot! <laughs> what are you doing? There you go, you got the shot. <laughs> 